Good afternoon. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Later on on Wednesday, we normally do these at lunchtime. But I've had the day off today, barring two meetings I had to bring into. Um, so, um, what else have we done today? We've consolidated. Molly learnt how to ride a bike yesterday. Anybody watching yesterday's one will see that there's a little video at the end of it. Um, I've got Emily with me today, by the way. No. Um, you'll see her in a moment. Um, so we Molly learnt to ride a bike yesterday, and I, it's what it's true what they say when you kind of like you know you can't unlearn something when you learn something like riding a bike. You can kind of sort of unlearn other things, but when it comes to riding a bike, once you've got it, you've got it. Um, so I'm going to tack on a little video to the end of this video, so you can see how much she's um, consolidated and got better in in, the, in 24 hours because. Um, We've got a little where we where we live. There's a bit over there called the um, island. That we call the island. It is called the island. It's not just we call it. It's called the island because it's sort of an island, really, isn't it? There's a little bridge to go over it, um, and it's an island. Um, so what we've been doing today, we've all had our bikes out actually. Well, me, and me, and, me, me, and both the girls. And we got the um, pool out. And we got the pool out as well. So we've been yes. doing, we've been doing circuits. Say so hello. Molly's got really really good. And we've just got the pool out, and so yeah, it's great. Sun's I out. I am so wet yeah, here. Yeah, it looks like you've just kind of, you know, <laughs> better, 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 we. Um, so yeah, I'm not moving there. <laughs> anyway, that's what we've been doing, and we'll we'll stick on the end of this video so you can see exactly how good Molly has got at uh, riding a bike. Right, I need to take over because we've got a chapter today called the polite goblin. There's, Most goblins aren't polite, so. Are they, no, are they not? Really have you got any goblins that aren't very nice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like the red goblins. Like the red, oh, you're right. You're right the red goblins. Yeah. Right, okay. Emily showed you the pool, didn't she? So, yeah, there's Molly getting in the pool. Yeah, it's looking lovely here. It's having a lovely view of the washing. Ali's t shirt, quarantine and chill. Um, yeah, all good. Right, okay. What is this dripping off my feet? Yeah, right, chapter. Do you know what that X111 means? Give me a minute. 13. 13, very good. X is 10, and then you get three ones. That's the three bit. Cool, the polite goblin. Go for it. The next time the chair grew its wings again, Chinky looked at it sternly. Last time you were very badly behaved, he said. If you want us to come with you this time, just behave yourself. If not, I'll sell you to the jumble man, and you won't like that. The chair flapped its wings violently, and Chinky grinned at the others. That will make it behave itself this time, he said. It w wouldn't like to get be given to the ju jumble man. Come on, let's get in. They all got in. The chair rose very slowly and flew out of the door, taking care not to jerk or jolt the children at all. It flew so very slowly and carefully that Chinky got quite impatient. Now you're being silly, he said to the chair. Do you fly properly? You're hardly moving. The chair flew faster. It flew very high and the children could hardly see the houses below them. They even flew above the clouds. And suddenly, to the children's great astonishment, they saw a big ca castle built on a cloud. I say, look, said Peter in amazement. I a castle on the cloud. Who lives in Chinky? I don't know, said Chinky. I hope it's someone nice. I don't want to meet a giant this morning. The chair flew to the castle. There was a big front door standing open. The chair flew inside. Goodness, said Molly in alarm. This isn't very polite. We ought to have knocked. The chair came to rest in the, a big kitchen. A small goblin with pointed ears, green eyes a, and bony legs and arms was sitting in a chair reading the paper. When the wishing chair flew in with Chinky, Molly and Peter in it, he jumped up in astonishment. The children set, the children and Chinky got out of their chair. Good morning, said Chinky. I'm so sorry to come in like this, but our chair didn't wait to knock. The, the goblin bowed politely. It doesn't matter at all, he said. What a marvellous chair you have, and how pleased I am to meet, see you. Pray sit, pray, sit down and let me give you some lemonade. They all sat down on stools. The goblin rushed to a cupboard and brought out a big jug of lemonade. It is so nice to see such pleasant, visit, pleasant visitors, said the goblin, putting a glass of lemonade before before each of them. And now, will you have biscuits? Thank you, said Molly and Peter and Chinky. They felt, they, they, felt, they felt that it was kind of the goblin to welcome them, but they didn't like him at all. He seemed much too polite. Another glass of 
Lots of lemonade. Lots of goblins taking goblin taking chinky empty chinky's empty glass. Oh do. It's a pleasure, I assure you, to have you here. Another biscuit, little girl? I make them myself and only save them for special visitors. But we aren't very special, said Pink Peter, thinking that the goblin was very really silly to say such things. Oh yes, you are very special, said the goblin, smiling politely at them all. So good of you to come and see an ugly little goblin like me. But we didn't mean to come and see you, said Molly, truthfully. Chinky frowned at her. He didn't want her to offend the goblin. He did not trust him at all. He wanted to get away as soon as he could. Well, said Chinky, finishing his biscuit. It is kind of you to have welcomed us like this, but now we must go. Goodbye and thank you, said the polite goblin. He shook hands with each of them and bowed very low. They turned to go to the wishing chair. To the, go to the wishing chair and then they had a most terrible shock the wishing chair was not there it was gone i say where's the wishing chair shouted chinky goblin where's our chair oh pixie how should i know said the goblin haven't i been looking up looking after you every minute it must have flown away when you were not looking well it's funny if it has said chinky we should have seen it or at least let felt the wind of its wings flapping i don't believe you goblin you have done something with our chair your servants have taken it away. Tell me quickly or I will punish you. Punish me, said the goblin. And how would you do that, pray? You had better be careful, Pixie. How are you going to get away from my castle without a wishing chair? I live here by myself in the clouds. Be careful, Chinky and Peter. Chinky, said Peter. Don't make, make him angry. Goodness knows how we'd escape from here if he didn't help us. Molly looked frightened. The little goblin smiled at her politely and said, Don't be afraid, pr pretty little girl. I will treat you as an honoured guest for as long as you will stay with me in my castle. We don't want to stay with you at all, said Kinky. We want our wishing chair. What have you done with it? But he could not could get no answer from the polite goblin. It was most tiresome. What in the world were they to do? Kinky suddenly lost his temper. He rushed at the goblin to catch him and shake him. The goblin looked scared. He turned to run and sped, sped out of the hip, out of the big kitchen into the hall. Chinky ran after him. Molly and Peter looked at one another. Chinky will get us all into trouble, he said. Molly, he really is a silly Billy. If he makes the goblin angry, he certainly won't help us to get away. I suppose that naughty wishing chair flew away home. I'm quite sure it didn't, said Peter. I know I would have seen it moving. The goblin came running into the room, followed by Chinky. Catch him, catch him, yelled Chinky. Peter tried to, but the goblin was like an eel. He dodged this away, he dodged that way, and then a funny thing happened. Peter fell over some something that wasn't there. He crashed right into something and fell over. Bang! And yet, when he looked, there was nothing at all to fall over. He felt very much astonished. He sat up and stared around. What did I fall over? he said. Chinky stopped chasing the goblin and ran to him. He put out his arms and felt around the, about in the air by Peter and his hands closed on something hard that couldn't be seen. Oh, he yelled joyfully, it's the wishing chair. That deceitful goblin made it invisible so that we wouldn't see it, even though it was really there, here. And he meant to help us home, all right. And he, be he meant to help us home, all right. And as soon as we had got gone he meant to use our wishing chair for himself and we'd never know then it hasn't flown away cried molly running over and feeling it too oh goody goody we can't get into it and get home we can we can we can get into it and go home if even if we can't see what we're sitting on get up peter and let's fly off above before the nasty little polite goblin does any more spells they all sat in the chair they couldn't see. Home, wishing chair, home, cried Chinky. The invisible chair rose in the air and flew out of the door. The goblin ran to the door and bowed. So pleased to have seen you, he called politely. Nasty little polite creature, said Chinky. My goodness, we nearly lost the chair, children. Now we've got to find a way of making it visible again. It's no fun having a chair and not to know, and not feeling I'm sitting on nothing. I'm like... I'm, I like to see what I'm sitting on. They flew home, they got out of the chair and looked at one another. Well, we do have adventures, said Peter, grinning. Mm. That was a strange one. Yeah. So they come out, the chair is still invisible as it stands. Yeah, I think yeah. the next chapter, they're going to have to work out how... Yeah, whether it, whether it suddenly becomes I, invisible I, again, don't know. Personally, I think they should have waited to ask the pics, because um, I thought the goblin might, like... 
I mean, I know it was up to, like, I knew it was being nice for a reason. Yeah. But, like, I think it still was quite nice anyway. So I think it, it, they should have waited just to ask him how, what he did to it exactly. Exactly. He was suspiciously polite. Yeah. Yes. Probably a lesson in life when somebody's suspiciously polite. They probably want something. It's like when you two are suspiciously nice. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Let's have, well, as you're both here, let's have a TTFN from both of you before before we kind of go to the clip of both of your biking bits. So, Bye -bye. TTFN from the Tinker. Wait, can I go? Can I go? TTFN from can the I go ping? All right, yes, okay. go, go Wait, ping and then we'll go into the video. Okay. The, the video is going to be here in three, two, one. Nice work. 